Hi guys, welcome back to the Soccer Kicks channel where I give you a full review of football boot releases as well as tips and tricks to get the most out of your product. Today we have the women's Adidas F50 mid cut to go over so let's get right into it. The F50 is finally back with several different versions including a regular laced, laceless, a plus variation and this mid cut model being specifically made for women. If you'd like to see a review on any of those variations I will link them below as well. This specific variation is very special because Adidas has never done a collared speed boot before and I think they're onto something. The price point for the mid cut version currently sits at $260, now let's hop into this review. The upper is a synthetic material called Fiber Touch which is the same in all of the other Elite versions. It's decently soft and feels like it'll mold to your feet after some time. The upper also has a sprint web 3D texture which you can see on each side of the boot. This is a material on the instep and on the outside which provides grip. The grip is not super aggressive but it will be noticeable when you're making contact with the ball. In terms of the sole play, this has the new Sprint Frame 360 outsole which is overall less aggressive and snappy than its predecessor. This is where a lot of F50 fans are a tad disappointed. You'll notice as well that there are now less chevron studs and some of the chevron studs we had in the last generation are now a hybrid conical stud. Overall Adidas played it safe here. In terms of fit, they are decently comfortable out of the box like the other Elite versions but do feel a little bit more narrow. The prime knit collar and sock liner compression tongue make them feel snug and keeps everything compact. I will note that these do not have the compression fit tunnel tongue like the other elite version and men's which I do feel help a little bit more with that snug feel you want in a speed boot. Judging by the initial fit and feel, I would say these would probably take about 6-8 to eight sessions to break in. If you're looking at trying out a pair for yourself, I would recommend going one and a half size up on these as they are in women's sizing. I normally wear a size 8 US and the ones on my feet now are a size 9.5 US. Now let's review the biggest win and loss of these boots. The win here is that Adidas has finally entered the collar game for the first time with their speed category. Although it may not seem like a big deal, this is a direct competitor to the Superfly in my eyes, which is a matchup that should make things interesting moving forward. The biggest loss is that they only made this variation for women. Of course as a guy you can buy these too, but even at my size they are extremely narrow. It would have been great for these to be released as a general release or simply made a men's version on top of that as I think you won't see a lot of guys try these out, which is unfortunate. That's the women's Adidas F50 mid cut for you. I'll leave a few links in the description in case you're interested in buying these. If you have any questions or opinions about these, leave them down below and I'll answer them as they come. Thank you so much for watching and if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. See you on the next one.